What is joy? How to establish joy? 12. P. It occurred to me again, the sutras say that it is absolute that making sentient beings rejoice is making the Buddhas rejoice, but can we say, does making the Buddhas rejoice make sentient beings rejoice? M. Yes. Because you have made the Buddha rejoice, you yourself rejoice, and this mutual joy quickly builds up the merit of the Buddha. If you have Buddha's merit, and you are in the realm of sentient beings, and you are there with great spiritual power, do you think sentient beings rejoice? P. That is the future. Now I have made sentient beings rejoice in the present moment, does it make Buddhas rejoice in the present moment? M. The rejoicing you say is not pure, making the sentient beings rejoice he said is not rejoicing the sentient beings, because what the sentient beings rejoice is their afflictions. Then you want to give sentient beings afflictions, let them afflictions intensify, sentient beings are rejoicing, that is not making sentient beings rejoice. I'm afraid that you don't understand what it means to make sentient beings rejoice, there will be an explanation later on what it means to make sentient beings rejoice. The later thing is to pluck suffering for all sentient beings, and finally the bodhisattva will achieve the supremely right equality and enlightenment, and the flowers and fruit of wisdom of the Buddhas and Bodhisattvas. M. That's just that you make sentient beings rejoice. That is to say, you really pull out his suffering, for example, his suffering of the three obstacles, you pull out his suffering, you pull out his greed, you pull out his hatred, you pull out this retribution of karma, in a word, you pull out his suffering. The making sentient beings rejoice is that you have removed his suffering, and his rejoicing is a single reference to the fact that you have removed his suffering. The rejoicing he produces is not that he is greedy for food there, so you give him some food, that is not called making sentient beings rejoice, that is called making sentient beings unlucky. The back of the special note about this is not to say that he likes to eat, drink, play and amuse, well, you guarantee him to eat, drink, play and amuse, is that called making beings rejoice? That's not true, that's called making sentient beings suffer. P. Yes. This is also very powerful to make Buddhas happy. It's because you have plucked the suffering of all sentient beings, and Buddhas rejoice, and little by little the sentient beings become successful because of you. M. Because you and he are on the same path, on the same wish, on the same action, then of course he rejoices, which means he has a helper to help him. Otherwise, he is doing the work alone, now someone helps him do a little, then of course he rejoices. Moreover, you yourself at least cannot be comfortable, you cannot let others comfortable. So the Buddha is rejoicing from any side.